That was a good interview. Yeah, yeah. I think that was my best one because I'm a little <laughs> bit buzzed. Yeah, yeah. All right, body's off, magnet mount, and it looks like quite a piece of work. What What did you do, Neil? Yeah. What did I do? I, I took off all the stock electronics and replaced them with their electronics. Uh -huh. So we got a Holmes 800 servo. Uh -huh. We got a Mamba X ESC. We got a Holmes Polar Pro stubby 2700 KV motor. Uh -huh. Stock gearing? Stock gearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it has like 6% overdrive stock. Polar Pro stubby. Okay, so the short is a short, it's a brushless, yeah. a little shorter, because it's plenty strong for something like this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we got a uh, Reefs RC 800 winch in the mm -hmm. front. What else? We got incision drive shafts front and rear. And I think that's about it. Oh, and I'm running the, uh, the FlySky GT5 Fly Sky. radio. The underside, too, you did some work, huh? Oh, yeah. The underside is I put the uh, Night Customs lowering body kit, uh -huh. body lower armor. So the rear and front. Uh, have been changed the ifs system has been raised 13 millimeters so the actual differential from stock is raised 13 millimeters 13 so mil 13 millimeters that's yeah. huge so i got a lot of ground clearance in the front um and it's got all the skid plates so you don't oh you don't, yeah. you don't hang up on a on a square edge uh ifs and then i got the uh the bauhaus system for the steering rack randy ellis actually manufactured a aluminum plate for the servo to sit on so that there's no bending in the plastic and then for the rear i changed out all the links so i have the gatekeeper trailing arms mm -hmm. for the rear and then the upper links for the rear i think they were off of a traxxas because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all the the rear geometry changes i'm not sure if you caught that it has a trailing arm suspension yeah <laughs> so what what you see in the baja ray and the super baja ray it's in here Mm -hmm. Now he has the shocks mounted in the original spot, so this is the the rear travel is not changed significantly. But now he has the option. The shocks are I changed them out to the Traxxas GTR shocks with the titanium nitride. Yeah. Um, yeah, the nice shafts. Yeah, shafts. Low drag shafts. Any, any words of advice for anyone? There's gonna be many people who's gonna follow in your footsteps. Maybe not to this extreme, but any any words of advice? Words of advice, honestly, scale it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not to be, it's made to be scaled out and not have like 4.75 inch tires right? and cut out all the wheel wells because this body is beautiful, honestly. Yeah, huh? The body is beautiful by itself. You don't, you don't need big tires. You don't need to yeah. lift, you know, S and stick with it to stock. Yeah, and know? they achieved a beautiful body without going hard body. Yeah. It's a miracle. Stick with the 3.85 inch tires, yeah. you know, you can probably stick 1.9 inch tires and make it look more, more realistic. Yeah. You know, yeah. but this body and with this chassis, just stay scale, stay scale, stay scale, with stay this. scale, do it right. Mm -hmm. Small steps at a time and, 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 and go farther as you, as your time and, yeah. and budget permits. That way you're happy, uh, from the get go. I don't think Neil yeah. worked for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this this is made for to be a trailer. Not not much of a rock crawler, but it can it can yeah. scale some rocks, but not like you know like true cheater rig yeah. style. But it's a good it's a good rig to go on hiking trails. It's a with. dream rig yeah. that you want to own in real life, which I think he's gonna buy uh, a Tacoma <laughs> when he when, when he gets when he gets famous. Or gets a race but it's it's something you would you would just adore would love to own in real life anyway and go on adventures right yeah. so that's kind of what you uh pursued all right we'll hit the trail all right <laughs> <laughs>